Have you ever wondered what the most painful thing a human can endure is? I don't know if I have. But we're gonna be finding out starting with a paper cut at 2DOL. Whatever the heck DOL means. Pain is measured using the DOL scale. What the heck is a DOL scale? I gotta search this up. What is a DOL scale? Dolorimitar is an instrument used to measure pain threshold and pain tolerance. Oh. Okay, so it just means how painful it is. Okay, <laughs> pretty straightforward. Okay, so a pain, uh, paper cut is a two. Paper cuts hurt though. If you get those ones that just sting, oh my goodness. Stepping on a plug? Stepping on a plug hurts more than a paper cut? I guess it depends how deep your paper cut is and depends how how you, how you step on the plug. Stubbing toe? I swear a paper cut hurts more than all those. Stubbing your toe, yes, it could be like the instant, ow! But like a paper cut, that thing stings for like a long time. Where stubbing your toe is just boom, ah, uh, done. The paper cut though, it could like affect you. Like what if it's like in a spot that you need to use, like to grab a water bottle or something, then it's gonna be hurting every single time. A cat scratch. I guess a cat scratch is worse than a paper cut because it's a scratch. <laughs> Biting your tongue. Okay, that hurts, but does it hurt more? I don't know, man. I swear the paper cut hurts more than all this. Burning the roof of a mouth with hot pizza. Why hot pizza? Why not like a, a soup or something? <laughs> that does hurt. But again, that, that doesn't hurt more than the paper cut. I, I don't know. A splinter. Okay, yes, a splinter. A splinter. A splinter. I'm trying to think. What does a splinter feel like? Splinters are really annoying. I, I don't think they really like hurt that much. Well, the, I guess it depends. If you get a big one like this guy, then yeah, it'll hurt. But like, you know, sometimes you just have something in you like a piece of wood and it's like you touch and it's like, ow, oh, where is it? And you can't get it out. But is that, is that worse than a, like a cat scratch? Like a, I don't know. I mean, according to them, it is. Punching a wall? I mean, I guess that hurts. One time, it wasn't even a wall, guys. It was a punching, like an actual punching bag. You know those things that drop down, you punch them, they go back and then you get like a score. I tried punching one as hard as I could and I clipped, I, I pretty much missed it. My score was like one, <laughs> maybe like a hundred, but I clipped it with my thumb and my thumb literally touched my thingy and it hurt so bad. Like I, it hurt for like a week, like two weeks. So yeah, imagine hitting a wall. I feel like I've hit a wall before. Not hard though, like just <gasps> drowning. I've never been in that situation and I hope no one is ever in that situation. And if you have, thank goodness that you guys are still here. But drowning, would you not think that's like at the, the top? Like I don't even want to feel like what, what the pain feels like, but it's not even painful. You know what I mean? It's like a different sort of pain. It's like. <gasps> It's not like an ouch. It's like uh, arthritis. I mean, I don't have arthritis. Maybe one day I will, but don't crack your joints, guys. ASMR. Did you know that's a myth? Well, so they say anyway. Like cracking your joints is just like just like air. It's not gonna like give you arthritis. Menstrual cycle. Um, I guess that one's for the ladies. I am um, not sure what that feels like. Standing on Lego. <laughs> you told me standing on Lego hurts more than drowning? Uh, man, I guess it really does hurt. A toothache. A toothache. Okay. Shot up by a paintball gun. Oh man. I've never played paintball, but I actually, I got swindled at the mall one time. This guy was selling paint, like paintball games and we stopped. That was with some of my friends. We stopped there. Decided to have a talk with him, see what he's offering us. And we managed to get him down from like right here all the way to here. We got, okay. We got him down from here to here to start. And they were like, nah, I don't even know if we'll like ever even go paintballing. So we were going to leave and he's like, okay, if you guys buy it right now, I'll give it to you for this. And so we got it for like the bare minimum. It was like, I got like 20 games for like not that much money. So I guess we're going to go use it. But I'm scared, man. I don't want to get, if it hurts more than drowning, I don't want to feel that. So maybe I'm, maybe it was a waste of money. Maybe I'm not going. Slam hand in a door. Ooh, that does hurt. That does hurt. Wait, I've done that before. So, okay. But being shot by a paintball is one less than that. And you're doing this for fun? Alcohol on open wound. Ooh. I remember, oh, I remember this one time. I was scootering. No, was I scootering? What was I doing? I think I was scootering at my neighbor's house on their driveway. It was the end of the night. My parents had been telling me, okay, Luke, we're going to go back home. And I was like, just like 10 more minutes. And of course, always at the end of the day is when you hurt yourself. I fall off so bad, my whole knee, like all of this was like scraped up. The whole thing was red bleeding. And as soon as we got home, it's like, there's like dirt and stuff in there. My parents obviously didn't want me to get an infection. So they got their, what do you call it? Rubbing alcohol, what it's called? Whatever, whatever it is that like you're supposed to put on wounds. So I, I, I mean, my parents did this to me and I, I still do if I get like a wound, I have some stuff. Or is it like something monoxide or something? I don't know. I, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. And they whipped it on and it hurt. Ah! It hurts so bad. Boiling water on hand. I do not want to feel what that feels like, but I did feel like a feel a feel. I did feel what it feels like to put your hand on a burning stove. My hand got burnt one time. I think I told this story before, but if you guys don't know, just a five second version of it. My pantry is here. I open the door. I always set my hand on the stove just because it's muscle memory. One day the stove was on. I went like this and went, ah! That's it. End of story. Well, that's not the end of the story, but that's the end of my story. So don't bore you guys. Stung by a bee. I don't think I've ever been stung by a bee. Hopefully I'm not allergic to being stung by a bee. I guess I'll never know until that day comes and then hopefully that day does not come. Falling down a flight upstairs a flight i i feel like there's one time my mom and my mom fell down and i got so scared because like that's like a you know like you get seriously hurt from that and i was scared but um i think she's, she's all right being choked i have never been ch wait 
being choked or like choking on food. I've choked on food before. Okay, that's one of the scariest thing, guys. Like I live by myself. I feel like I've, I'm repeating myself, but anyway, I live by myself. So it's like, if I choke on food, what am I going to do? So actually one day I was scrolling on TikTok. I saw an ad for this thing. I decided to buy it. So I have it in my, in my kitchen just in case I ever choke. And what it is basically is it's like a vacuum type thing. Put it over your mouth and it has this like pump. Then you just go and it's like sucks air out. So hopefully it works. I've never had to use it. Hopefully I never do have to use it, but yeah, just in case you just go and the food is supposed to come out if I um, am choking. Starvation. Luckily, I've never been in that position of not being, not having access to food. So I'm very grateful for that. But I do, you okay, know, I'm not even going to say I know what starving feels. I know what starving feels like from like not eating in like a day, but like for like a, a month or something like I, yeah. whiplash. Oh, is that where you like, go, and it's like oh, but wait, you're telling me that hurts more than all this stuff. I, don't know. I thought it said ripping off a finger by ripping fingernail off. Okay. Yes, that does. That actually hurts. That's one of the most, okay. It's the most painful thing we've looked at so far. So make sense have you got like those hang like it's not a hang nail oh my gosh look at my, my nail is so bad or not my nail my like thingy but have you ever got that where it's like your nail is like split in two and it's like piece in the bottom and then it's like you could pull it out but then sometimes you're like you're pulling it and it's like too deep and then you're like ripping it off and then it starts to bleed that's when yeah that's one of the most painful things i feel like actually i feel like i ripped off like half of my big toes nail before i forget why but I, i'm pretty sure that happened and yeah that's just that's no joke guys breaking glass on hand i have broken mirror before but it was by an accident and i don't I don't think it was with my hand. I think I like knocked it. Now I have bad luck for 10 years. Wait, I'm about to be 21 at the end of the month. My luck might be coming to an end, guys. I don't know when that was. Or my bad luck, sorry. Getting a tattoo. Ooh. Oh no, getting a tattoo hurts more than the hangnail. That's it, never getting a tattoo then. Just kidding. I want to get a tattoo, but I want it to mean something. I don't want to just get like a, a drawing of a cat or something. Well, maybe I maybe I should get a drawing of my cat. That would have meaning to me. But I, where, where would I even get the tattoo, guys? Where What hurts the most? Probably like, what, your face? Oh, I won't get it on my face, but or like, would I feel like right here would hurt though. Your skin isn't very thick, thick there. Probably the place it would hurt the least is like somewhere you got lots of lots of skin you know but where would i get it i think the tattoos like this guys look kind of cool like if you have a tattoo right here when you wear shorts looks kind of sick i also think where else looks sick i don't know i see lots of people do like yeah on the wrist like right here i see some cool like finger i don't know but i don't even know what i want to get one day it'll just click to me i'll be like oh that is something that that's something that has good meaning to me. I'm gonna get that. Actually, okay. Let me know in the comments if this is a good tattoo. I thought it was at first, but now I'm not too sure. It would be it, the tattoo would say "Be here now." <laughs> See, it sounds kind of cringe when I say it out loud, but like maybe "Be here now" with a period at the end or something. And the meaning behind that, I, I forget who like made that up, but the meaning behind it is like "Be here now." Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about what's gonna happen in the future. Just be here now, because I overthink everything and I I have lots of anxiety and I like stress out about so much stuff, especially not so much the past. But yes, I do stress about things I've done in the past. Like, oh, is it the right decision? Da, da, da. But mainly the stuff in the future that hasn't even happened yet. I'm like, oh, I got this thing coming up. I'm so scared. Like, what's going to happen? Is it going to go good? Do, 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 ba, da, ba, do. And most of the time, it always, I'm sure this has happened to lots of you guys too. You're stressed about something, then it happens. And you're like, why was I stressing about that? That was like so easy. So that's why I want to get the tattoo. Be here now. I don't know. I feel like the overall meaning is good. But is be here now really like the tattoo I want to get? I don't know. Breaking a bone. Breaking a bone hurts this. It's 18 and eight. Breaking a bone is 18. Getting a tattoo is 18. You're telling me breaking a bone hurts as much as getting a tattoo okay yeah i'm not, I'm not getting that i broke two bones two wrists one time i fell off my snowboard i didn't fall off of it i fell snowboarding broke my wrist every time i fell off of a i fell off of a swing backwards i um i was playing on my slip and slide we had a slip and slide in my backyard when i was younger i had my wet swimming trunks on still i went on my slot on my swing and i slipped off and landed on my wrist like that or did i land like that i forget but um i broke it and that does hurt third degree burn okay i forget what what's the first degree second and third degree like what i have got a third degree burn from burning my hand or is a third degree burn something that's like permanent because like mine like is healed now you can't like tell i'm a punch to the face i don't actually think i've ever been punched to the face hot iron on skin oh i don't i don't even want to think about that i don't even want to think about it. broken stitches wait oh wait so is that like they break and your wound like opens up again is that what that means have i ever had stitches I don't think so. Don't believe so. Stomach ulcer. What's a stomach ulcer again? You know what? I don't want. I don't want to know. I have not had that, and um, yeah, hopefully I don't have to endure that pain. Freeze burn. A freeze burn. You're talking about a brain freeze? A freeze burn. Oh wait, on your body a freeze burn. Oh, like frostbite or something? Maybe. Migraine. I've had a couple of migraines. Those do hurt pretty bad. Actually, those hurt really bad. My dad actually gets lots of migraines, and um, actually I feel like I've only had one serious migraine. I remember how it happened too. One day I was in the vehicle with my parents in the back. I was younger. We had a CD because my mom had like a uh, is a Kia Sorento. It's like a 2007 Kia Sorento or something like that. And it had like one of those things, like those TVs in the middle. You flip it down, and you can put like CDs in there. That thing actually, oh, that back in 
the day, that was that was it, man. Long road trips, you just put the movie on. It's like I didn't have like a phone or anything back in the day, so that, that was nice. Okay, but um, we had DVDs in the back, and one day I was I was looking at the DVD and I could not read it for some reason. Like I would look at the word and like the letters would like look like they were like in the wrong order, and it would, or like I'd look at it and it I couldn't see the word. And I moved to the next word, then I couldn't see that word. It was like weird. And then later on, I ended up getting a migraine and figured out that that was why. Like the next day or later that night or something. Starting at the oh, staring at the sun for five minutes. So four minutes, not painful. Five minutes is where even four minutes and 59 seconds. Electric shock from a household main. What the heck is a household main? I don't know, but electric shock. Yeah, I don't want I don't know. I don't know what that feels like again. Boiling oil on skin. Actually, that boiling oil, that has ha happened to me, actually. Luckily, it hasn't been like a big, like a big splash, but I've had little, like I've been cooking some chicken or something and a little sizzle. I was like, oh, you know, a slip disc. I think my, this is slipped. I think my mom has one of those. Is that too much info? Sorry, mother. I think she has a slip disc. Jeez, mother. Is that painful? I didn't know you're going through that much pain. Or is a slip disc like a repairable thing? Does she not have it anymore? I don't know. <laughs> my mom's going to be laughing after this. Finger chopped. Oh my gosh. Finger chopped off. Mom, you're almost at the same level of pain as having your finger chopped off? I didn't know that. I'm sorry, mother. Stung by a stingray. I was stung by a jellyfish. Actually, I don't even know if I was stung. I've told this story before probably like two times, but I was in Jamaica when I was younger. It was my grandma's 50th, grandma grandma's 50th uh, wedding anniversary. They brought us on a cruise ship and uh, we stopped that Jamaica. I think it was Jamaica that I did this. We we're at the beach and I was just chilling by the water and I stepped on a jellyfish. I stepped on it and it stung me. I don't know if it was like, I don't know what I was doing on the shore there, but I stepped on it like just into the water. You know how the water goes. Whoosh. Jellyfish was right there. I stepped on it. And then all I, I don't really remember the actual like sting or if it like hurt that bad like that. Ah! But I just remember it like felt weird like for hours after that like oh, I don't even know how to describe the sensation it Just felt weird like tingling and stuff. I don't know if it's the same. This isn't even a stingray. This is like a bee But I don't know. <laughs> Swallow glass? Oh my gosh. I don't want no arm chop though? Heart attack? Getting stabbed? I don't even have like I don't know what to say about this stuff like getting stabbed. That's just like uh, Arm chopped off? That's like Bro, you're telling me getting stabbed hurts more than having your arm chopped off? Shot in the chest. Yeah. I'm surprised that's not like number one. Number one then? Car driving into you at 30 miles per hour? Wait, being shot in the chest doesn't hurt as much as getting ran out by hit by a car? Passing a kid passing a kidney stone hurts more than being shot and hit by a car and stabbed and your arm chopped off. Are you serious? No. I gotta drink as much water as I can. I hope that day never comes that I get a kidney stone. Oh no. How do you prevent that? Oh no. Oh no. I think water is one of the big things. You gotta be dehi you gotta be hydrated. Kicked in the balls full f Wait! I swear I've been- I, I swear that's happened to me before. If you guys don't know it, um, if you get a weird feeling in your stomach after when that happens. Being kicked in the balls hurts more than being shot in the chest? Okay. Childbirth. Okay. I can see that. Well, I can't see that, but I can see that. That makes sense. Drinking acid? Hit by a train at 80 miles? Why 80? Why not like 50 or 60 or 90? Why do you gotta put 80? Being burnt alive. Wait, is that number one? I can't even imagine that. I cannot even imagine that. Dang. Well, I could see that one as being the most painful though. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap the like button, drink lots of water, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.